So I'm gonna respond to this in a way that's probably gonna sound controversial, but I share this with all kindness and sincerity based on my personal experience of overcoming alcohol addiction using a neuroscience approach um, and just seeing like probably a thousand people or more by now overcoming their own alcohol addiction with this approach as well because it really does challenge this notion that number one you know if we have a drinking problem that automatically means we're an alcoholic and we've got to call ourselves that and number two that it's a lifelong illness and just let me explain for a second so over the last 30, 40, 50 years, there's been a lot of advances in understanding not only the brain and neuroplasticity, but also how alcohol addiction and other types of addictions function in the brain. To be honest, I struggled with my drinking for 10 years, and I, at the time, for a lot of that time, believed that um, the only way out of this was to go to Alcoholics Anonymous, call myself an alcoholic, you know, admit that I had the disease of alcoholism and then just never touch another drink again. And that's, I think, what the majority of people believe because it's what we've been told um, for the last hundred years or so uh, since 12 Steps and AA is the primary methodology of alcohol recovery, at least here in the US. But as I said, a lot has changed over the last couple of decades of just an increased understanding of the brain and how alcohol addiction functions in the brain. And what my experience has been is that, number one, I never identified myself as an alcoholic. That doesn't mean I was in denial about my drinking problem. I certainly admitted that I was drinking too much, but I more viewed it as like, a bad habit that I had established, just like how someone can gain a bunch of weight because they've been eating a bunch of junk food. They don't call themselves a foodaholic and say they have a disease. They just recognize, okay, I've been living in an unhealthy way for a while and I really wanna get this issue under control. So I personally did not find using the label alcoholic was helpful for me. I did try it uh, for a little while and for me it just felt like um, this heavy identity that I had to carry and it almost justified me to drink like well if I'm an alcoholic then I might as well do what alcoholics do which is drink now I'm not saying that's true for everybody for some people it does help them to call themselves an alcoholic and put that identity on themselves for me personally it wasn't helpful that so that's the first thing I want to say is that I personally did not call myself an alcoholic and number two is that I do not feel like um, my alcohol addiction is a lifelong illness. In fact, I feel completely cured of my alcohol addiction because of the treatment that I used. It's a neuroscience-based treatment that's been around since the 90s called the Sinclair Method. And this treatment um, has been clinically tested and researched and proven um, to work for the majority of people uh, to essentially reverse alcohol addiction inside the brain. The scientists who researched this and discovered it uh, really hypothesized and, and showed that alcohol addiction is at least in part a learned behavior. Um, you know, we're not born with an alcohol addiction. Um, some of us may have a genetic predisposition, but the only way we can become addicted to alcohol is by drinking alcohol repeatedly and to excess. And so Dr. Sinclair, who discovered this treatment, really demonstrated that alcohol addiction or alcoholism is something that the brain essentially learns over time by repeated exposure to the alcohol. And of course, if we have a genetic predisposition, we may be more likely to develop an alcohol addiction. Um, but with showing that it's a learned behavior, he also showed that it could actually be unlearned through this treatment protocol that he discovered, which essentially involves taking um, an opiate blocker medication, not to be confused with opiates, completely different thing, but it um, is a medicine that's taken before drinking and it's actually sitting on receptors in the brain. And when the medicine is taken before drinking, it's blocking the reward that alcohol provides or blunting it. It's not totally blocking it. Um, it's muting it is one way to put it. And that's essentially why alcohol can be addictive for a lot of us because it's very, very rewarding for the brain. When we drink, it just floods our brain with all of these feel-good hormones and endorphins. 
and our brain really likes things that give it pleasure. And so the brain remembers, hey, that substance, alcohol, gives me pleasure. I'm going to want to do it again. And that's where the craving for alcohol comes in, the mental preoccupation, and ultimately the addiction to it. But with Dr. Sinclair's method, he showed that if this medicine was taken before drinking and, and someone drank on it repeatedly over an extended period of time, their brain could actually unlearn the alcohol addiction. And the reason for that in the simplest explanation is that it's because the brain is no longer getting that reward that alcohol used to provide. And so for a lot of us, what happens is Alcohol just starts to take up a smaller and smaller part of our lives. It becomes less and less important because it's just not as rewarding. And so for me, after about nine months on this treatment, so I started it as a daily binge drinker. And over the course of nine months, my drinking just gradually reduced to where after nine months, I was drinking about one or two drinks once or twice a month. And I had an off switch when I drank. So it was really easy for me to stop after that first or second drink. It wasn't difficult. And I really just got to a place where I felt indifferent about alcohol. Like I just didn't care about it anymore. Like, sure, I'll have a drink, but I'm not upset if I'm not having a drink. Kind of like if someone offered me an iced tea, I'd be like, sure, I'll take an iced tea. But if they didn't offer me one, I wouldn't care either. And I might have one or two iced teas, but I'm not gonna drink a bunch of them. And so that's how I got healed from my alcohol addiction and feel genuinely cured of it. Um, today, it's been over six years since I've drank alcohol. Um, what's unique about this treatment, as I mentioned, is it started while somebody is still drinking. And by drinking on the medicine and not getting the same reward, the brain has the ability to unlearn the alcohol addiction. And so I drank on this treatment for about a year. But after that, I ended up quitting drinking sort of by accident because I just didn't care about it anymore. I kept going longer and longer without drinking. And after four months of just effortlessly not drinking, I decided I would stop. Um, and then now it's been uh, six years since I drank. Um, but I genuinely feel cured of my addiction as if the addiction that I had in my brain for 10 years has been erased. Like the simplest way I can put it, it's like, my brain got restored back to the place it was in before I ever had an alcohol addiction, like in my teenage years, where I didn't think about alcohol every day. You know, if I had a really bad day, I didn't feel the need to drink a bottle or two of wine. Um, I didn't need alcohol to function. I didn't need alcohol at social settings. Um, it just wasn't anything that was in my conscious awareness, really. And so through this treatment, my brain gradually unlearned the addiction. So my brain completely changed. And I no longer was someone uh, who was addicted to alcohol. And so I don't call myself an alcoholic. I don't say I have the disease of alcoholism. And in fact, I just feel almost like the addiction was completely erased from my brain. I'm not tempted to drink alcohol. I don't miss it. And the truth of this treatment is that if I really wanted to drink, I would just follow the Sinclair Method protocol and I would take naltrexone beforehand and the medicine would mute the reward that my brain would get from the alcohol. And so it would allow me to have control. I probably wouldn't be able to have more than one or two drinks. So I just wanted to respond to this just to clarify really the changes that have happened um, in the last couple of decades with treating alcohol addiction and how it's viewed now in the science and medical community. Ultimately, I just want people to know that there are alternative treatments to kind of what we've known for the last century of, you know, calling yourself an alcoholic, going to AA or rehab or 12 steps, or even just forcing yourself to go abstinent and alcohol free. There are other neuroscience-based, science-based treatments that are really helping people um, get free from alcohol addiction. So if you're curious to learn more about this treatment, check out my other videos or the link in my profile.